You're listening to The Voluntary Life, where you can hear ideas for finding freedom in an unfree world. Visit thevoluntarylife.com to connect with the show and hear all past episodes. Here's your host, Jake. Hi, it's Jake here. Welcome to The Voluntary Life. This episode is a short, spontaneous speech that I did in a discussion on the Pork Therapy Show, and I've released the, the whole show in the previous episode on my feed. So if you've heard the previous episode, you may have heard this already, but also thought it might be fun to put it on its own as a short speech. It's called Success is the Best Revenge, and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much for listening. I think also just on, on this question of activism and political involvement, mm -hmm. which neither of those things, they're both sort of very strong in, in the Free State um, yeah. part of the, of the Free State project. And I guess for me what really strikes me is the opportunity cost. Uh, even if you're interested in spreading freedom, even if you're interested in, in you know, spreading the message of freedom, mm -hmm. the opportunity cost of those things is so huge. Because, mm. I mean, for example, you know, let's say that you have the chance to start a podcast, start a radio show, write a book, create some kind of um, subscription service with information about liberty and ideas for more personal freedom, whatever it is. You can do that. And you can spread these ideas and you can grow a business and you can, you know, uh, you can uh, bring um, knowledge of liberty to millions of people. Or you can go and be an activist and get locked up mm. and, you know, have your own life and your own happiness totally ruined. Mm. And it just strikes me that obviously, you know, that makes news too, but... For me, like I'm interested in in freedom because I'm interested in freedom for myself mm. and for the people who I love and for my life. You know, I'm not interested in it because I'm interested that you know I should become a martyr and then somebody else is going to enjoy freedom some somewhere down the line. Mm. So when I see that kind of activism, activism, it doesn't sell me on the idea of liberty because that looks to me like, oh great, so you know, liberty is about getting put in prison, um, which. Mm. <laughs> That definitely is not what I'm interested in. I, I, I'm interested in... <laughs> Sounds um, rather find... or Orwellian, war is peace and... <laughs> yeah, I'm interested in finding real freedom for myself, which means... Oops, sorry, lost the microphone there a bit. Um, which means, um, you know, financial freedom, um, mm -hmm. being, being able to um, enjoy your life and so forth. So it just strikes me that, you know, for those people who are involved in activism, even if they really are very passionate about spreading liberty, I don't think you have to um, throw yourself, you know, into the kind of meat grinder of the state's mm. of oppressive system in order to show other people, oh, look, look, this is what happens. You yeah. know, this is totally immoral. I'm being arrested because I'm carrying a bag of vegetables or I'm being arrested <laughs> because I'm not showing due deference to these stupid people in costumes who call themselves the authorities or whatever. You know, yeah. if you do that, it is such a huge personal cost. And there's a personal cost to you, to you, but there's also the opportunity cost that you don't get to do those projects that would spread the word if that's what you're interested in mm. and would also give you greater freedom because mm. you know that saying success is the best revenge and for me you know that's the way i look at the state is mm. like okay i got put through the prison of state school where i was indoctrinated and mm. you know where i was given all this stupid ideology you know, what I want is to get to a point where my my success is the best revenge on the system that tried to to break me. You know, yeah. And I, I that that I, I hope that that's something that that people who really are passionate, because I admire their passion and I admire their commitment and their dedication. But I just think like that. I hope that people who have that passion, that commitment, that dedication, and who are throwing themselves into activism, I hope they can find a way to channel that passion and dedication into entrepreneurship, for example, mm -hmm. into creating value for people and doing it in a way that also is in line with their, their own um, 
passion and interest. You know, they can make liberty oriented businesses. They can spread the words. They can work because- on themselves. I mean, like you said, I, I really like that success is the best revenge um, idea that you brought out, Jake, because, yeah, you have been put through a lot of abuse in public school and in a state of society and maybe other other factors, too, that. But if you turn out to be a happy person, I mean, wow, that's great. <laughs> and yeah, you yeah. can there's one person on this planet that you can definitely free and that's yourself. Yeah. And if you haven't freed yourself, the only one. Sorry? The only one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And if you haven't freed yourself, then you have no credibility when other people look at what you're doing. Mm. That's the thing that that really strikes me is that if you yourself are in a situation where you're kind of really, you know, um having all of these horrible things happen to you for avoidable reasons, mm. then that, that, doesn't, that doesn't give other people the sense, oh, I want to live that life. I really want to go and get arrested, um, you know, for, um, in order to demonstrate the, 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 the sort of uh, evilness of the state because um, that's the kind of cost that, you know, somebody, if somebody who, who wants to uh, get their own uh, freedom in their own life or they've got kids and they you know want to look after their kids and give freedom to them they're never going to be attracted to that mm. yeah yeah wow great great uh i, I want to say rant but it's not really a rant i mean it's just <laughs> just truth yeah i uh, couldn't agree more and that's that's great that you said that i'm really glad that you have a chance to share that with my audience because that is a crucial point a very crucial point um so Okay. And you know, just to, just to yeah, please to, to contrast it, you know, how much better would it be to create your own business, get a really good lawyer, and pay virtually no taxes legally, than and you know be able to go and live in some country in South America and enjoy the benefits of your entrepreneurship, and have a liberty blog and a podcast and, and you know T-shirts, whatever you want, and spread the message and tell everyone about your success, how much more um, sort of uh, opportunity are you going to have to really enjoy the freedom and to show other people what's possible? That's the real revenge on the state that's trying to break you. Thank you for listening to The Voluntary Life. If you have feedback about the show, please email jake at thevoluntarylife.com. If you enjoyed this program, please share the podcast with your friends or click the donate button on thevoluntarylife.com.